Okay, hello everyone. My name is Ben Samuanar, and uh, I am a Wikimedian and a library and information scientist. And in the following minutes, uh, my aim is to unfold the potential in editatons in, in the context of higher education. Well, uh, before we start, I would like to mention that um, I have five minutes at the end of my presentation in order to have uh, a nice Q&A session. So I encourage all of you to engage in a brief discussion at the end. So let's see, okay, the agenda. So first we will start with a short introduction to ensure that um, uh, we have uh, the same understanding. It's mostly about editatons and its meanings. Following that, we will explore the connections between editatons and higher education. And finally, to illustrate this, the Hungarian Shakespeare editaton will be presented. So what does editaton mean? That's the main question. Well, editatons are events where editors of online communities uh, gather together, edit, and improve a specific topic or type of content. Of course, in our context, it means mostly editing the main spaces, so editing articles in the main space, also uploading pictures, or just editing Wikidata. Wikidata. Uh, editatons can take place in person or virtually, or similar, similarly to Wikimania, in a hybrid mode. Uh, but uh, the point is to engage new and experienced users as well. And universities and libraries are usually the frequent and prominent hosts for these events. And how does an editathon look like? Well, actually, it's quite similar to the hackathon we are having right next to us. So. As an example, if you are taking a look at this picture, this is a picture from a Swedish event from 2017. And I believe it represents the typical editathon because the, as you can see, the primary uh, benefit of organizing an editathon in person is that the attendees, especially those who just joined Wikipedia or just trying to do their first edits, uh, have the immediate opportunity to ask questions and, of course, receive assistance from their peers. So, now we know what editatons means. Of course, I believe most of you have already knew that. But now, let's, after this short introduction, let's explore the opportunities between editatons and, of course, higher education. So, like the wider public, uh, certain university professors are also skeptic about Wikidata, uh, Wikipedia. Sorry. This occasionally leads to confusion where students are banned to use the platform, despite uh, they do so anyway. So what's the point? Um, so these such circumstances can give rise to confusion because um, because Wikipedia is an encyclopedia. It's not uh, a secondary source, uh, not, not, not a primary source. And despite this distinction, some educators have preferences for students who use traditional printed encyclopedias just because they did not use Wikipedia. And I believe it's a fascinating contradiction which still exists even though that uh, the educators had many time to learn that what's Wikipedia and we are not using any more printed encyclopedias anywhere because that's not convenient. Okay, about the competence, competence and skill development opportunities. We have to say that Wikipedia itself is a platform for scientific communication and university teachers can uh, leverage this. So, student assignments. Let's think about, for example, uh, seminar papers. 
So they are great examples where editatons can be impl implemented in higher education. Why? Because writing a seminar paper is like editing Wikipedia. Both require similar tasks from you. First, you have to analyze the topic, then do your own research, collecting all of the reliable sources, and finally, summarizing your findings. Studies found that editing Wikipedia can help students to gain the necessary competences and skills, just like in the case of a regular assignment. The trick is that it also motivates them because their, their product will be part of something what people actually use, and their work will be publicly visible. Wikipedia can be also useful for translator and interpreter classes, because Wikipedia has thousands of articles in various languages, obviously. So imagine that I am your professor and I give you the following assignment. Translate this Spanish text into Luxembourgish. I will read it and I will give you a grade depending on its quality. Now, let's say that the text is about a subject which doesn't have an article on the Luxembourgish Wikipedia at this moment at this moment. And at this point, I will tell you that your translation will be published there. Will you be more excited for the task, more cautious and more determined? This is a hypothetical question and probably the answer is yes, because your work, work will be no longer evaluated by your professor only, but your friends and strangers on the internet as well. Now you can sense the weight upon the students because they must create something good because they will, uh, they will have to present something which is good for the wider public because the professor will read it, okay? But that's all, no one else will read it anymore. So what's the point to make it? So why, why, why editatons are useful for higher education? because the conventional student assignments are facing the challenges. Among the injury criticism, a fundamental one stands out. Students often engage with these academic tasks out of obligation, not because, uh, not because they are interested in the process, and that's a problem. Because it's an external motivation and not an internal one. Given that these assignments are intended to cultivate the skills and competencies for crafting an academic work, and at the end of their studies, they have to present the thesis to receive the degree. So it's important to have those skills, sorry, those skills to be able to make that uh, thesis at the end. So this vital skill set is essential, not for the students only, but also for the educational institutions which are evaluated based on the quality of the students they produce. We also must mention ChatGPT and other large language based models because they cannot write properly cited manuscripts yet, but they are catching up. You cannot be sure anymore if an essay was written by a human or by a machine. Being said, educators are compelled to adapt to this evolving landscape. So let's see how editatons can help. So now I will present you the Hungarian Shakespeare editaton. So the Hungarian Shakespeare editaton is organized annually since 2014 at the Pazman Peter Catholic University. The participants are first year master's students in English studies. And the goal is not just achieving the previously discussed skills and competencies by handling out a mandatory research assignment, a seminar paper, for example, but to also motivate them by publishing the seminar papers as Wikipedia articles. But of course, it's not that easy. There are challenges. So the most important one is identifying suitable topics that lacks Wikipedia articles, which is hard. 
However, the Hungarian Wikipedia still presents an opportunity given the fact that there is a considerable gap uh, about Shakespeare-related content. Of course, generally, generally speaking, defining the scope of the editaton is crucial because in this way you can define uh, which articles could be useful for the students and which are still missing from the Wikipedia. It is also very important to invite experienced users, Wikimedians, who provide guidance to the students through the editaton. And of course, despite the visual editor and all of the new really useful features uh, which have uh, simplified the editing in the past years, Wikitext, particularly the reference formatting, is still very much not user-friendly, so the beginners have problems with that. So this is the reason why it's important to have someone on board who is experienced. And about this picture, which was taken last year, I believe it well represents the very spirit of such an editaton. Participants sitting next to each other, uh, chatting and contributing their knowledge. And as you can see, the whole setting of the picture is very similar to the previous one. The except the only difference is that it was taken in Hungary, in our editaton, and the previous one was taken in Sweden. And finally, I must emphasize the significant outreach potentials that organizing an editaton uh, entails. So such events uh, extend promotional benefits not only to the organizers, but also to the partners involved. To illustrate this, last year's Hungarian Shakespeare Editaton was hosted at the Hungarian National Library. Additionally, they offered, a, uh, they offered the participants a, a complimentary guided tour. And in return, the library was able to spotlight the collaboration and the event across their social media platforms, on their website. So in this way, they could harness the promotion advantages from the event. And it is also worth mentioning that the impact of such events can be measured and quantified. And it's really important because the page view statistics of the, the articles which were created can, show, can be shown and can be visualized and the students will be able to see the impact they made and maybe it will motivate them to edit further and in the end become a Wikimedian. So that was all what I wanted to tell you and now I want to ask if you have any questions, especially about the how, how we did it or what kind of tips do I have for you if you want to do, if you want to organize an editathon. So do we have any questions? Uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, my question is, uh, yeah, you mentioned that the Hungarian Wikipedia provides an opportunity because there are significant gaps where uh, articles exist on the English Wikipedia, but they don't exist on the Hungarian Wikipedia, but uh, don't the students, you know, instead of doing the research uh, on an article completely new that doesn't exist, just opt for, you know, just doing a translation from English to Hungarian, which would be like super quicker. Um, and, and, and the second question is, um, yeah, how many of these students, you know, uh, continue editing and becoming like long-term Wikipedians because the first uh, motivation is for them to you know to do it for the editathon for their research for their schoolwork but then are there some that continue uh, you know uh, for the long term thank you so thank you for the questions uh, the first one is really valid uh, I forgot to mention I mean, I intentionally left this out that uh, translation is not uh, accepted as the task, so they have to provide something new. Um, and yeah, 
especially about Shakespeare, almost everything is on the English Wikipedia. But I have to mention that some of the, to be honest, most of these students are not Hungarian students. So we created many articles about minority languages as well. So like uh, the, the Moroccan Arabian, we, so we created articles for the Moroccan Arabian uh, Wikipedia, like two or three, which was a real big challenge. You know, we are using Latin as the writing system. They are not. They are writing from the right. We are writing from the left. So it was really hard to, to manage. But yeah, the, the first is to, they have to do the research. So they cannot, you know, just uh, be lazy and not doing the research. The second uh, question, uh, sorry, what, what was the second question? I, I forgot it. Uh, yeah, yeah, about the follow-up, yeah, good question. To be honest, we didn't measure, we haven't measured this yet, but uh, because it started quite a long time ago, like 2014, the answer is no, unfortunately, because the system was really hard for them. I mean, you know how, uh, back then we didn't, we couldn't really use visual editors, so you can imagine that they were like, oh my God, I just want to survive this and that's all. But uh, that's a really good point, and we really want to do uh, forward research on that. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. If you have other questions, I am here to answer. Thank you.